This video was originally recorded live over on Daz Let's Plays. Come join us next time. Well, we're not going there quite yet. Sorry, buddy. Oh, no, no golden Pikmin. Did I not get to that last time? Damn. But I thought I brought 20. Oh, well. We are not going to 2-E. We're going to need to do 2-D first. And to do that, we need to do 2-C. But, oh, excuse me. I'm not going to... Actually, I can still prioritize Pikmin. Because we haven't got the golden Pikmin. So just, whatever. What we're going to do then is we're going to not bother about treasure or sparkling. But we are going to try and get all the Pikmin and not have them die. And get the normal ending. Ending. Exit. Exit. Finale. What's it called? Secret exit. That's it. Exit is the word. Lovely. Oh, that just teaches me it. Okay. It doesn't actually do anything for me. Off we go. Let's see how fast I can do this level. I'm going to try and do it like a speed run now. And see if I remember where all the Pikmin are. Also, you can see the Pikmin despawn on the left when uh, the cutscene begins, which is kind of iffy. But oh well. Right. Don't lose them. Ah, oh, that's why I lost Pikmin to this guy the first time. I didn't see anyone I lost as well. Right, you guys. Cool, and off we go. And then we go this way. Let's check everyone's actually alive. Good, we have got white eggs. Oh! Whoops! Wrong, 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 wrong! Move! Oh, what? When they're doing that, they don't get flipped over? That's... Okay, I guess it's like you can't attack them while they're attacking you. I mean, I guess it kind of makes sense, but all right. Um, now, for that, you need to get up there. And to do that, you need the mushrooms. I remember this. Cool. Oop. Don't fall. Cool. Ah, right, that is just Sparklium. Well, then, nope. Get me out of here, please. And whoops, one more. Cool. There's a part of the music, I think it's here. That um, makes me think of Pikmin's dying in the distance. I think I just heard it. I definitely heard it in Sector 1 when I was playing it between streams, but oh well. Is this how speedrunners do it? I imagine this is how speedrunners do it. They like constantly are whistling. Makes sense to me. Oh, do I have to wait for it to... Slow paced game, I tell ya. There we go. No new Pikmin, no new Pikmin. And I guess if there were, they'd show up now. There they are. Speaking of showing up now. Right, and bye bye Yeah, there's just extra respawn spots for Pikmin. That's helpful. Right, what's down here? It's the that guy. Oh, thank you. There's a secret over there, but I don't think it's new Pikmin. I could be wrong. Oh, I didn't see... Again, I didn't... See, well, so much for that anymore. All right, we're just going to finish the level then, rather than getting no deaths. Oh, no, wait. Oh, well, I whistled them accidentally again, so I can't go up there, but it's just Spark Beam, so we're fine. That's probably just a secret to the left. There's more four. There, that's the final four as well. Now I can't whistle except like this. And now we wait and stare directly at the audience. Low paced equals more time for, to enjoy the cave music. That's fair, yeah. The cave music is actually quite nice. I quite like the music uh, when I was playing it back between streams. I haven't been able to pay attention to it as much as I'm, spe as I'm streaming, but okay. All right, we're all good. Oh, I could have gone under and gotten the, the, oh, I don't want the secret entrance, Never mind. Give me the real one. See what I mean? This is, this is how, this is how, this is how a level's supposed to go, right? That's how you want it to go. Whew. Love. Lee. Lovely. Nice. And, ah, Captain Olimar, I thought you might like to know that there's been some activity at Pikmin Park. Cool, let's go check that out. Technically, I guess it counts as part of this level, sure. Give me, all right, first we got more yellows, which is lovely. Hello, hello, hello. And the yellows also found something. Uh, aha, 
nail clippers. Captain Onimar, the Pikmin have found a treasure! I'm almost finished with the analysis. This should yield, oh very nice, 200 more. I've exhausted this area of sparklium. Take me somewhere else now? Um, no, no you can't. Okay, can't go up there. Can't really deal with that. So yellows, I guess you gotta just stick around till we unlock a new section of the park, huh? Actually, what else have I put in there? There's no more grass for you. You also don't seem to have eyes. Just wander, okay. And there's nothing there for you either, is there? Nope, the grass has gone there. Alright. I'll back to it later. We're at 10,000 sparklium now! Captain Onimer, a third of the way there! Wow. I've set it up so that you can view any indigenous creature you've encountered in the logs! Woo! Only by reviewing our past can we be prepared for our future. Onimer, what are you doing? Uh, is this supposed to be some kind of intergalactic workout you're doing? Okay, goodbye, Olimar. I guess I'll talk to you tomorrow about the announcement. Oh, you've decided to come back, Olimar. Well, that's good. So, as I was saying, uh, there's still more There's still more to fix, though. 14,000 sparklim should be enough for the next milestone. Doesn't that sound great, Olimar? Uh, Olimar, Olimar, where are you going? Okay, right. Now we have all the enemies unlocked. We will do that in a minute. First, I'm going to do some streamy stuff. Having because. an exceedingly difficult time capturing your game. Uh, what are you talking about? Captain Onimar, why don't we leave this place to Pikmin and go and explore somewhere else? Hello? The Pikmin know the drill when it comes to looking for Sparkling by now. We can leave them to their work. Oh, well... No! Thank you, because I, I need to see what they're doing. Um, Alright, in that case, I don't think I can actually change the frames per second while I'm streaming anymore. Oh, I'm sorry that I've got low quality. This is like my first ever streams, and it's only with this thing that it's so finicky. Oh well, either way, we're gonna make a move on forwards, alright? So, alright. At this point, I think I want to take on the enemy logs to see what's going on first, because I also kind of want to delay doing 2-B, because I need a slightly bit more of a break. Wow, okay. How many of- Oh, that's a lot of reading! Look at this! Okay, and then- Oh, look at that, that's a nice amount of, uh... There aren't- there aren't 12 bosses, are there? But yeah, that's a nice amount of enemies. I approve of that. Let's first look at new treasure that we got. Our nail clippers. Where are they? There they are. Jeez. Single seesaw. Before, to build your leg muscles on a seesaw, you really needed a trainer or partner. But with this spring-loaded device, you can tone those trunks all on your own. It's so revolutionary that it might be worth braving the bureaucracy, bureaucracy to patent it when I get back to Hockertate, so long, as I, so long as I don't need any sign-off from the president, of course. <sighs> okay, and let's go through the long haul, shall we? It's like the Picklepedia episode, yay! Let's start with mini bread bugs, they're crumb bug, crumb bugs. Oh, and they're animated and everything, that's pretty cool. What are your... Okay, just curious. Uh, the Panzerus Carpone, family bread bug. It only, its only move is to walk straight forward without to, well, its only move is to walk straight towards you without stopping. Is it? Is that so it can eat us? Or so we can eat it? Oh, and they're only- oh no, they're not one page, never mind. The Coppola! The Viri- The Viridilicus Principus. Princeps! Gosh, I can't read Latin or anything. Family Scarpanid. It carries Pikmin and high-energy objects away somewhere. Back to its nest, I assume. I guess I'll keep this with Volumer's voice. Maybe if I keep observing its behavior, I can begin to understand why my wife has a hard time throwing anything away. Uh, the Moki... Mokiwi. <laughs> the what now? The Pseudoactinidia... The Pseudoactinidia... Perniki... Perniciosa. Family Mokiwi. Its large beak is a holdover from when its kind could fly, but the wings are totally vestigial now. It spends all its time either eating or sleeping. Hmm, reminds me of a certain pooch back on Hockadate. Aw, a uh, Bulby, I think I said that pooch was called. The Spawnet. Melissa, uh, Melissa's Manovenemum. 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 <gasps> Fuzzbuzz family. Not many bees prefer isolation, but this one does. It wards off intruders by dropping toxic puffballs on them. I admire its independent spirit, but there must be an easier way to live. Uh, the Crested Mokiwi. 
Pseudoactinidia. Oh, I got it. Pomodus. Or kiwi family. It's similar to a regular more kiwi in many ways. I can't see any purpose for the crest being beyond a distinctive look. And again, nobody knows what the president's com the company president's hair is for either. Maybe that's why he has less and less of it every day. I hope he's bald in the next game. That'd be great. The sparrow head. The Sporgitis Appium. Hun Huntipec family. They have a pesky habit of appearing suddenly out of the sky to attack. They're queued up close though, aren't they? The SS Dolphin too didn't have such an aversion to bugs. I'd want to take it home with me. Oh, really? You sound a lot like the uh, ship from Pikmin 2, then, if you're afraid of bugs. The male shear grub. Him Himagia mandibulo mandibulosa. The mandiblard. Uh, this earth brown creature gave up its wings and legs to live in the dirt. It only comes out to defend its territory. Or, you know, to ruin your day. I still can't figure out if it's shy or if it's de desperately seeking attention. <laughs> the puff stalk. Not the puff stalk. Aspergula rubidronis, the sporovid family. A mysterious creature that likes to pop out of its nest and then go right back in. Bent on collecting energy, rich in energy rich objects. But then, so am I, hmm? Very true. You have tiny little feet, look at that. Oh, that's kind of looks like a potato that's like, going old. Oh well. The shooting spinner female, Himagia mitetsia. Re arachnid, not an arachnid, arachnid. I was startled to learn that all members of this species are born male, but some metamorphose into females as they grow older. On second thought, it's a little embarrassing I was so surprised. The universe is a big place with all kinds of possibilities I never considered. Who am I to say this one or that one is weird? Who are you, Olimar? What does the back end of you look like? Horrifying. That's the answer. The puckering blinow. I knew that one. The Narolingus piscatum. The ellipse family. As long as you don't approach these creatures, which travel in packs, they are no real threat. Their big eyes suggest that they have excellent vision, while the puckered lips indicate that they're good kisses. Don't think about it. The Eye Stalker Bulbeel. The Oculus Varaxis. The Grub Dog Family. Apparently, the Grub Dog Family includes this aquatic relative, which will try to eat anything that draws near. Wonder how many times that's backfired on it. How many acorns that happen to fall near its mouth yet has swallowed? The large splurchin. Unfortunately, I probably won't memorize the enemies for this game just because I've only just learned about them, but oh well. The Spica Spicasfera Natarans. The splurchin family. The SS Dolphin 2 says that this mindless floating creature is delicious on the inside. It hasn't told me how to get past the spikes yet to try it, though. The sheer blug. Not the sheer... I thought someone was uh, miss saying that earlier when they said sheer, sheer blug instead of a sheer grub, but no, that's actually what this is called. The Rontundus Himegia, a mandiblard family. What an odd creature. Loves, it lives on both land and water. It seems puffy, but shows spikes when threat is approaching. When threat approaches. I'm just looking around it. I find myself curling up when scolded as well. But alas, I have no spikes to present. What can I say? I'm a pacifist. <laughs> the wide-mouthed anode beetle. Be beetle. Scarabum Electrodia Grandiosteum. So... Scarab electric big. Okay, Scarab beetle family. This pesky, pesky creature loves to generate its own electricity. It prefers solitude and becomes aggressive if provoked. It really couldn't do much, it really couldn't be much different from me, could it? Part of me wishes I could assert myself as strongly as this terrifying monster does. Young yellow wally hop. I was hoping it would be called that. That's just dumb. Call it at least like adolescent infant. Young just sounds like, I don't know, too, too dumb. The Amphicarus Fredendum. The, uh, excuse me, the Amphituba? Amphibious YouTuber? This would seem to be the intermediate stage between a Walpaw and a yelly wally, Yellow Wally Hop. I asked my daughter if she wants to be a pilot like me when she grows up, and she said, No, I want to be a boss like mummy. Which is fair. <laughs> and the Bulborb. Oculus Kamigai. Kagiyami Russus. I knew that, and I just said it wrong anyway. Rub dog family. The SS Dolphin 2 said it sleeps during the day, but the one I met was awake. I pointed this out, and the ship said, I meant during the day on Ogre date. <laughs> After defeating it, we found a... Whoa, hello. He's like surprised that I saw him. He's like, ah, this is a nice... Ah! What are you doing here? Oh. Oh, maybe not. Oh, I saw a penny. Ah! You hear me? Ah! <laughs> Uh, that entertains me way too much. After defeating it, we found an object rich in sparkling. It's possible that the creature considered such objects a, a delicacy. Maybe. Wow, that actually didn't take as long as I thought it would. 
But yeah, that's a nice amount of enemies so far. Let's continue.